Hello everybody, it's your old buddy Jim here from East Tennessee Preparedness. Happy Monday everybody. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I did. Stayed busy all weekend. Just running errands and took the boys to church yesterday. So had a good day. But the weekend's over. Back to the grind. So uh, I'll see what's going on. Got a little sad news here today. One of my chickens died last night. Uh, I had noticed it had been having some blood out its rear end and I couldn't figure out what caused it so it seemed like that was about a week ago and it seemed like it was getting better and yesterday before I was going into work I noticed it wobbling around a little bit walking unsteadily I hear something over there maybe a squirrel or some bird but I uh, noticed it wobbling around when it walked and I went down to give them some feed and water a few minutes ago and she was laying in the in the coop dead so I got rid of the poor thing so down a bird but if you're not going to fix it and eat it because if it dies of a disease that wouldn't be uh, I don't think too smart on my part so I'm not sure what happened to it I guess I'll ask Google what they think they seem to know everything mess with my rake a little old garden fence, I've had it for a few years now. It's starting to look a little ragged. So, pretty soon it'll be time to, to start getting the garden ready. So I'm kind of excited about that. Think about doing some straw bells right there again. And I'm gonna try the buckets one more year. I've not had much success with the, with the bucket container gardening, so we'll see. Think about maybe tomatoes in there. I'm still thinking about making a deeper garden bed on one of those double deckers and uh, trying to grow some potatoes maybe in, in these two right here. And I got some good looking compost over there. I'm going to clean the chicken coop out here soon. It needs it badly. And uh, put that in some compost, but I won't be able to use that for a year or so. so if I do it now, maybe I can use it next year if I'm still here, still alive. But uh, I hadn't got to watch many of my favorite YouTube creators this weekend. I've been too busy. And don't get to watch, jump on as many live streams either. So if you've uh, not noticed me in the chat, that's why. I try to get on when I can, but you know, real life comes first. And if you've got any ideas about what uh, might have happened to that chicken, I know I've got some. I think she lays really big eggs and I think she just ruptured herself. So. I mean, I've got some that won't even fit in an egg carton. They're just humongous. I'm still maybe thinking about hatching out some later on in the spring when it gets a little warmer. Uh, I think it's about 39 degrees here today. It's supposed to get down to about 19 tonight or something like that. So, uh, weather had not been too bad this winter. Just a little cool. Work's going good. Kids are doing good. So... All in all, everything's going good here. So I hope you ha had a good weekend. I hope you're healthy and happy. And I'm going to definitely need some more coffee before work. So I may just wait until I get to work. But other than that, you know, I've been trying to keep up with the news. I've not heard anything about the Supreme Court ruling on the mandate. Uh, pretty much a media blackout. You got to find bits and pieces of what's going on in is it Kazakhstan Kazakhstan so I know that the, the government has left they're being arrested it's got pretty violent I reckon and people want to call January 6th an insurrection uh, look over there and you'll see what a real insurrection looks like they, they did a little more than hurt feelings so just uh gaslighting at its finest keep saying the same crap over and over and pretty soon the people go bad truth bad that's the truth bad that's the truth do your own research find out what's going on for yourself i've heard that it was uh over the uh doubling of the natural gas prices and i've heard that ain't uh ain't the real cause either i've heard saw some reports that it might be uh they're sick of being forced to take something that they don't want. I know that some of the uh, jabs 
centers were torched so I don't know probably never find out for sure exactly I'd say both of them contributed to it in my if I had to give a best guesstimate I don't like giving guesstimates because I'm not there and I don't see it and I don't talk, get to talk to those people and nobody is right now I reckon their internet and all their communications were cut off so but uh, I have been putting a few preps back uh, I finally tried some of that uh, beef I bought off my buddy at work and I made some meatloaf out of it and I thought it was really good so still planning on canning some of that that whole thing's loose good gosh that guy did that fancy could have hired a third grader and did a better job I'll have to come down here and fix that so but anyhow that's what's going on around here I ate a lot of one of my, my girls, so hopefully the rest of them will be healthy. And I do need it's on me. I gotta clean that chicken coop out. I've waited too long. I was supposed to do it in the fall. And now here it is in the middle of winter. The king of procrastination still hadn't got her done, so next this week hopefully I'll get that get that taken care of. So everybody have a good week safe week if you like the video be sure to shoot me a thumbs up if you want to if you feel inclined leave a comment i love talking to y'all i see where some people in the comments are talking to each other that's good i like the interaction so everybody have a good weekend no weekend's over it's monday done done everybody have a good week and i'll talk to you fine folks later adios amigos